hello guys so here i am going to display the actually shipping header data uh, by using ida okay ida alb so first what i did actually this is the report so first i declare the data this is the object object means reference variable of a class so i declare the reference variable means object of a class type ref2 is a keyword through type ref2 we de declare the define the object of a class and this is a standard actually if you double click here so this is an standard interface okay interface means 100% pure abstract class okay it has all the methods without uh, def uh, without implementation only definitions are there only definitions if you double click on you will not find anything even you cannot create any implementation here so all the definition it contains all the definitions after that uh, i declare one more data variables vmsg type string this is a string type so length it will, it will contain multiple characters long character okay so this is the standard interface if you just double click here this is the standard interface see you can go to the property so we use here for alv with <coughs> So we use this interface to ALV with integrated data access, okay? Okay, yeah. with the ALV ID, integrated data access, we, uh, we tell this idea. So here, the next, what I did actually, I defined the data variable OEXCPL, okay? Here I'm handling the exception, okay? So I define one more reference variable of a class, which is the object by using a standard class cx s alv db connection to make the connection with the database one more reference variable i declare here type ref2 cx s alv db table not supported for to handle the exceptions actually i do defined here three data variables third one is oexcp3 type ref2 cx alv id unders underscore contract violation okay so the next point these are the standard methods actually this is a static static connector static connector okay we have two kind of connectors static and instance connector static connector we use to call any kind of custom or standard static method instance connector we use to call any kind of standard or custom instance methods so this is the static method if you just double click on the click, double click on the create here you can see create is the standard method okay already active because this is not z so this is a predefined coding to display the alv report with the ida this is a simple i am using here one table standard table bdtk for shipping header header data shipping header data so these variables we def i defined for uh, handle the errors exception second suppose for an example we have try and catch block okay try catch 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 and try okay so what we did here in the in the try in the try block we put actually the code which we have some doubt we put into the uh, suppose for an example In that, suppose I, I want to write some coding, okay? I want to write some business logic. I have doubt this coding will generate some error in future. So that coding I put into the try block. Try block, okay? That coding I will put inside the try block. Okay, suppose I have some coding and I have some doubt in future this coding will can generate some error or some problem will come into the picture then that coding i will put under the try block if any error will come in at runtime okay the error or exception will be catched by handled by or catched by catch block suppose try blocks short a six okay that or or any error will come into the picture if in this block that will be handled by catch block okay and we can display and we can display that error in normal language english language so after that what i did actually 
I called one method which is the standard static method create. Okay, this is the standard class. I put in the try block. See, this is a node. I can close this even. So call method. This is a statement to call any standard method or call any custom method. So here this method I am calling this into my report. This is my report Z mans underscore ALV IDA. Okay, means IDA means integrated data access ALV. Okay. So after that, what I did actually in this here okay this is a standard class what is the uses of this standard class cl salv gui table ida okay it displays your data at runtime so just double click on this class this class is it this class we use for alv with integrated data access to display the this is a standard factory class okay so this class contains no interface this class class contains few methods which is the static static method i told you this is the static connector i told you this is the static connector okay so double click means static static connector means if you want to call any static static method or any static member of a class we use here static connector we use this is an instance connector okay so to, for better better understanding you should learn object oriented programming before okay so this is a standard class this class contains few static method you can see level level you can see static 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 these are the standard methods okay okay so we call this method if you double click here these are the standard coding okay so we cannot change system is asking asking access key so this is a standard method i just call the standard create method which is a static method into my report okay we have few parameters i v table name if you go inside this class we have here attributes we have here in okay just go to the methods here we can see create parameters we have i v table name name of the table for database access here we pass the table name i o g u i container container for alv display because when you display the alv container holds your data at runtime okay third is the i o c a l c field handler this is the another actually parameter is there so these are the optional these are the optional actually but this is a mandatory parameter this is a mandatory because that's why optional is not ticked by default so this is a mandatory and this one is a mandatory okay alv with integrated data access the, you have to pass this one parameter and this second parameter two parameters because because both are not checked okay come back so i pass here table name okay why because it table name is the parameter if you go here if you go to the create so here you can see in the parameter sections you can see means name of the table for database access for an example i will show you now if i will execute this report it will display shipping data shipping details see shipment this is the document number shipment type okay created by created down time change by this is the shipping details let's do one thing instead of this we, we pass this is a comment actually it will not execute at runtime here i will pass vb ak sales order header detail i want to display just execute it okay see sales document number created down time and here we can see one more thing let's pass delivery details like ap so in this report just i am displaying the data only from one table in the next report i will join few more few more table so this is a delivery document number created time created district delivery okay you can see this right okay so no problem after that in the this is the another parameter here i pass the reference variable of a class what is this o underscore alv this is i declare here reference variable means object of a class what is the type of reference of this standard 
this interface. Okay. So prop at runtime property will redirect from here to here, and when I pass this in here, then property will come inside this uh, class. Okay. After after I use the catch catch block. if any time if any kind of exception will come first which kind of exception o l1 means which kind database related if database related exception will come then first it will be catch here okay then <coughs> i will display the message error in database connection okay then through that reference variable of a uh, this actually this is object of this standard class okay then this this class contain if message get long taxi if you go here get long text if message get long long text okay these are the param these are the actually method this is the method this why we see we can see here the inter tilde because this is a interface method okay this is a tilde symbol this is an interface okay but this is not a static this is a instance method so if you want to call any instance method you have to call that instance method using object so that's why i declare one object here means reference variable of a class object or reference variable of a class both are same so through this object i am calling this method okay to display the database related connection errors okay let's do one thing another method i call to table not supported let's do one thing here i will put l i k p is there but l but m a n s this table is not exist inside the sap system so this error will come not supported database related okay see error in db table not supported mans is not supported because this table is not exist inside the sap system but instead of this if you pass any different table like uh, vbr then it will display the data it's very simple actually okay see billing document invoice okay uh, billing document number shows okay now okay this is related to here i handle the errors next if olv is bound okay here i declared the one define the reference variable of a class okay if in case a trunk type could it would be bound so i want actually output one full screen okay so just a minute here let's do one thing instead of here we have full screen activate full screen mode uh fuzzy search change uh, we turn standards this part of my table field field catalog full screen okay we use for field catalog or like double click functionality that i will show in the next uh, report so i want an output this output in full screen mode so that's why if i execute this then we get an output in full screen see this is a full screen full screen right this is a full screen okay and one more thing so here for full screen what i did actually i define my i if everything is fine okay if everything is fine if object is working fine then i declare define one more actually reference variable this is not not a normal data variable this is not normal data variable this is a reference variable of a class means this is an object actually of a class type ref to if we have full screen id if full screen will come then what next it will call one method full screen which is exist in this standard class sorry interface okay full screen okay to activate full screen mode enter yes okay the next what i did actually okay full screen i pass this parameter okay full screen o mode okay if means okay then i handle here again error means error in ida contract violation while getting full screen mode okay 
then I display the data. If you don't pass this method actually display, it will not display the data. See, display is the method to display the data. See, I am trying to execute but my report is not giving an output actually. Why? Because I have commented this display method. So display method exists inside this standard which is standard if salv gui full screen ida interface display set pf state or exit okay show the data on the ui that's it it's very simple thank you next class i will uh, guys show you how to join two tables get the data from two tables here i am just passing vbr kena or vbak for an example vbak sales order or header data and i'm just displaying the data okay sales document number this is header actually so in the next class i will show you how to join few two tables so let's debug it i put the comment on try if executed Comment means debugger. I have put the session breakpoint. Sorry. So after that, actually, my compiler is here. Try. Okay. Now compiler came here. It's going to call this method. Okay, I don't want to go inside this method. I will press F6. It will jump. Okay, my compiler has jumped up. Okay, now, now, again, I want to execute it because there is no error. That's why compiler jump from here to directly in try. Because okay, that's again executed. And I put the breakpoint here, session breakpoint. So if OLV is bound, double click on OLV. See, OLV contains the references of this class. Okay, it has bound successfully. Okay, press F5. F5. Data O mode type. This is the another reference variable. This is now initial. Is blank. Try call method LV full screen now system will call this standard method full screen this is c we came in compiler came inside the full screen standard method you want to go back just press f7 okay go back so everything's fine because there is no error so that's why no error that's why v message is blanked okay so if o mode is bound it's o now o mode is bound see it has contained local class full screen adapter okay this is this is bound means it contains the reference of a class bounding means object containing the reference means objecting object is working successfully it's working fine okay so it's bound because object how it happens actually i will tell you so suppose this is your class okay you define one reference variable for an example rv okay rv this is the reference variable or we call this as an object okay so this is your class class could be like local or standard class okay so if this object will take the reference of all the member which exists inside the class that means it has bound okay because when one class can contains methods properties object okay so if object is active mode or it has taken the reference with all the member of the class this is we call this is a bound successfully bound okay so simple now compiler is here press f5 compiler will come to here 261 now it will call the display method to display the data see now it's going to display the data this is standard coding actually press f5 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 press f8 it will display the data that's it.